check out the cathedral ceilings. Those are like 17 feet high. We have cable readiness. Does Michael Scott know anything about real estate? Does Michael really know anything about anything? to come to think of it? <laughs> I'm not sure, but today we're gonna to be reacting to some hilarious antics and real estate scenes from the office. I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. If you wanna learn about real estate and tour some awesome properties, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's bring on the first clip. Home sweet home. Which one's yours? Right there. My sanctuary, my party pad. Someday I can just see my grandkids learning how to walk out here. Hang on, swing from this tree, push them back. I can see my grandkids, you know, I'm pushing them on the swing. I find that kind of funny because it's the front of the house and so if you're pushing them on the swing, it's gonna be right kind of the main street. Wait, no, it's this one right here. Home sweet home. That's so classic. So this is considered a cookie cutter neighborhood. And there's been times when I have actually walked up, rang the doorbell to show a property, and it was the wrong house. The ceilings are lower than they were last week. That, I don't, I don't know if you showed me what? this same unit or not. The normal ceiling height is about eight feet, but we're seeing a lot of the newer constructions go to 10 feet. Extra volume just feels nice, so. I'm, you know, I'm not terribly tall, but you can definitely notice when you're an eight foot ceiling versus 10 foot. And Michael, where, this is the unit Where you are saw all and... the hot people? I was told that there would be all these attractive singles. Who and as far as I can tell, I'm the best looking person here. There's a basic principle in real estate that you should never be the best looking person in the development. It's sort of common sense because if you are, then you have no place to go but down. So classic. He's talking about beautiful people, but we do have areas that are 55 plus communities. My mom and dad live in one, they love it. So you kind of have people that are like-minded and doing the same thing. And then you have other areas like Pacific Beach. It tends to be a younger crowd. You have other areas that are more established. So it's kind of a, a different type of mix, different generations, different types of people, different makes and models. So pretty fun. Is this a financial thing? If it's a financial thing, what some people do is they rent out the third bedroom. No, and that's no, some extra no, 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 no. income for you. I am not you. going to rent the third bedroom. I want a price reduction or I am a walk. -in. It's so funny that he talks about renting out a room and I'll, oh, I'll never do that. But I literally just sold a property over across the freeway in University City. Their daughter is going to UCSD and there's a true lack of housing right now for UCSD students. So she has a four bedroom. She's renting the other three bedrooms out. One friend and then two other random people that will be living there. Good way to make extra cash flow and help with the mortgage. You will lose $7,000 if you walk away right now. What normally happens in real estate, you get the property accepted. We have 17 days in which you complete all your inspections. And then you have 21 for your loan if you are getting a loan. After that, you sign off on all your contingencies. You remove all contingencies. You could potentially lose your deposit. So that's where he's at right now. Deposit normally is 3% of purchase price. So a million bucks, you could potentially lose 30,000. I made the right decision. I'm glad I signed. I'm a homeowner, right? Good to be a homeowner. Diverse of mine, they're good. You know, the fact that he's having the burritos on the floor and there's no furniture in there, assuming that this is before he moves in, but if so, I mean, there have been times where people are like, man, I'm gonna have to eat that top ramen for the next couple months. I can't afford this, but any property that I've ever bought, you're, you're a little house poor at first, but then it always works out. And then I just need you to sign here at this era. What kind of mortgage did you get? Uh, 10 year. Well, 10 over 30, so 30 year total. What? What? You said 10. 10 year fixed, over 30, 30 year total. Oh, 30 years. Okay, okay. okay. Wow, you'll be paying this off in your mid 70s. All right. There's all different types of loan programs out there. The one that we normally see is a 30 year, and you can get a fixed rate. That means that your rate is what it is the day that you sign. So luckily I have a 2.75 interest rate on one of my properties, which is historically low. They're ticking up, but if you sign that, otherwise you can get into an adjustable rate where it adjusts up. So the funny part about it is he has a 10 year fix and then it will adjust after that. It kind of depends if you want to stay in the property for a long time, if you plan on keeping it, if you plan on flipping the property, you don't necessarily need a 30 year fix, but there's different loans for different people. And then there's other people that just pay cash and they're like, all right, let's just do this. So pretty interesting. Hey, I have an idea. 
You know that extra bedroom? If the whole girlfriend thing never happens, that's where the nurse can live. Okay, all right. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is it. Uh, Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. Is that supposed to come off? Hey, look, cool. Actually, yeah. Carpenter ants. Um, I'm gonna take a little uh, breather for a second. Right. Excuse me. It'll be here waiting for you. Oh, man. You normally don't sign your loan docs at the house when you're closing. We normally go through escrow and then you'll have a notary come in and they sign the loan docs either at the office or they can come to your home. I've signed purchase contracts on the back of my car. Now everything's like via DocuSign, so electronic signature, which makes it much simpler. A 30 year mortgage at Michael's age essentially means that he's buying a coffin. If I were buying my coffin, I would get one with thicker walls so you couldn't hear the other dead people. <sighs> oh. Whenever you're ready, Michael. People, when they get into properties, regardless, young and old, it doesn't matter because a lot of times, even if someone does pass away, the loan will be assumable and or they can take over the loan. But we've seen nothing but appreciation in real estate. So it's been great where people don't really care about it because if they bought the house at 200,000, it's worth a million bucks. You can easily pay off that small loan, which he's probably shouldn't even be freaking out about because in five, 10, 15 years, he'll be all right. This, my friends, is the master bedroom. Check out the cathedral ceilings. Those are like 17 feet high. We have cable readiness. Those ceiling at the bottom were about eight foot. They taper up to about nine. So he was a little off on that. I'm going to put a surround sound system. I'm going to put a plasma screen right against this Ooh, wall. Oh, terrible I'm putting idea. my bed right over no, here. No, 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 no. This is a shared wall. <sighs> Neighbor throws his wife into the wall. Plasma screen hits the floor, totally smashed. Well, then I will get a warranty. Warranties don't cover it. Plus, her ripple. There have been times when you buy a condo, you're going to hear your neighbors, especially if they're above you, and you never know. It could be owner occupied, then they decide to move out and rent it to someone, and you have three little kids up there running at all times. We've had friends that have condos and the lady up top likes to wear her high heels in the house with the hardwood floor so that's the problem is solved. What? Listen, listen can you hear that oh man these babies are thin you'll have specific timing when you can and can't do certain things at a condo complex like we lived in a condo complex and the pool was open from 10 to 10. so that means you can't be out you know playing chicken or doing your thing at 7 a.m. waking up neighbors and you can't be there, you know, doing cannonballs at midnight. If you buy a piece of property and you hold it for a certain amount of time, that property will be worth more, especially in San Diego County. It was up 27% from last year. So hey, buying real estate is not that bad. On that note, if you like this video, don't forget to watch the next one right up here. Don't forget to like the channel and subscribe.